Welcome. This question says, which unit is smallest? The BTU, which stands for the British Thermal Unit. The CAL, calorie with a big C, which sometimes is called a food calorie. The CAL, for calorie with a little c, or the J for joule. And we have some conversion factors, which you don't have to remember, but you have to be able to manipulate and so if I look at these, I think about a BTU. Well, one BTU is equal to 252 little calories. And then if I look at the next one, one big calorie is equal to 1,000 little calories. Well, clearly one little calorie is equal to one little calorie. And then if I look at my next version, um, one little, uh, one joule is equal to, well, it's going to be one over 4.186. Calories. If one calorie equals 4.186 joules, divide both sides by 4.186 and you get how many calories there are in one joule. So if you ask me which is the smallest, I can tell you, oh, clearly the joule is the smallest. So that would be my answer. If you ask me which was the biggest, then clearly the big calorie or the food calories sometimes called would be the would be the largest um, and uh, the BTU would be uh, uh, the next in line so sometimes people like you to order things from largest to smallest or smallest to largest sometimes pick out the largest sometimes pick out the smallest and so on so the question says which unit is the smallest and the smallest unit of energy out of the four that we've considered has been uh, the jewel. It's basically pick an apple up and put it on a on a desk and that is one jewel. Um, second part, use factor label method to convert 17 BTU into joules and uh, so we have 17 BTU and you play this game where you say, but I don't want BTU. I want joules. And so you look at your conversions, and I have a BTU into calories. That's part of the way there. And they have a little calorie into joules. So it's not so bad. So I say BTU. Well, BTU is on the top, so we've got to put BTU on the bottom so it will cancel and go away. And that means that little calories must be on the top. And if I look at my conversion ratio, 1 BTU equals 252 calories and I can see immediately that my BTU has now been taken away. And then the next step I want to do is go from little calories to joules. Little calories is on top so I'll put little calories on the bottom. That means that the joules must go on top. And if I look at this one little calorie equals 4.186 joules and again we can see that the calories cancelled away leaving us with a number a bunch of numbers but the units are joules so if I look here it's going to be 17 multiplied by 252 enter multiplied by 4.186 enter and I'm going to get 17933 three. 17933 three joules is my answer and there it is and there it is these conversions they're not mathematically hard it's just that if you try to do them in in your head it's very easy to get them flipped around so rather than in this case dividing by one and multiplying by 252 
you multiply by 1 and divide by 252. So by laying them out in this method called the factor label technique, it just makes things go a lot, a lot smoother. Fewer mistakes. There we have it.